Hello. Yeah, all right. I've told you before about uh, some stories about my granddad Sam. Quite a character. He lived in Tibbedale, Dudley, just off Regent Road, Birch Crescent. And uh, as a young man, he'd go to the doctors very often because he was fit. He did his boxing and uh, he did running every day. So he was a fit young man. But as he got older, he did visit the doctors occasionally. And one hot summer in the 60s, I think it was 1962, I knew he was going to the doctors because he'd got his best suit on, his best cap and his watch and chain. And he said to Lil, I sure belong. I'm just going to Dr. Coots. Now, Dr. Coots had a surgery on Bunn's Lane, which was near Burntree Island. So Grandad used to walk from Birch Crescent and then to Regent Road by the Red Lion, back of the fields down, and he was there. And in them days, you just went to the doctors and you stood in the queue and you waited your turn and you got in. Good eight. Good idea. And uh, he was there and he was waiting to see Dr. Coots, her family doctor. Now, Dr. Coots was a lovely man, very tall, quite young, very, very posh and sophisticated. I think he was from Auburn. And he looked a bit and sounded a bit like Leslie Phillips, the film star. So he come out and he said, Ah, oh, Samuel Birch, do come in. Now, tell me, are you a private patient or am I going to hurt you? Oh, he had a lovely sense of humour, did Dr. Coates. And he said, right, he said, uh, come in and tell me all about it. Come into my insulting rooms. And off Grandad Sam went and uh, he went in. And he said, uh, what seems to be the trouble? Sam uh, was a bit quiet and he said, come on, you can, you can tell me. You can tell me, Samuel. He said, well, uh, it's a bit embarrassing, Doctor, but I I, I, I been for, for for a fortnight. Oh, you, ha you haven't been where? No, I ain't been. You know, toilet on um, constipated. I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't do anything. Oh, right. OK, well, while you're here, let's just check one or two things just to make sure it's, it's nothing too serious. Now, tell me, do you go dizzy when you pass water? Grandad Sam said, um, well, I went a bit funny when I went down by Tipton Cut the other day. <laughs> no, 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 Samuel, I didn't quite mean that, but uh, it doesn't matter. You'd know about it if it was happening to you. Now tell me, how good is your eyesight? Go to the window over there and look through the window. Now, can you see that, that woman? Can you see her in the kitchen there? Can you see the woman? And Sam said, oh, I can. And Dr. Coote said, right, just uh, put your tongue out, will you? Bob your tongue out, right at the woman. And Sam did, and he said, uh, why am I doing that, Doctor? What, what, what will that show? Oh, nothing, Mr. Birch, I just don't like the woman. She's terribly noisy. Thank you. Right, now, um, you say it's been a fortnight, 14 days. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a course of suppositories. OK, take the course of suppositories and then if nothing is still um, moving, come back and see me in a week's time and we'll think of something else. But do try the um, suppositories first. Well, off he went, eh, Grandad Sam. And sure enough, a week later, there he was in Dr. Coote's waiting room. And Dr. Coote said, Ah, oh, Samuel, I'm surprised to see you, you here. Come into my insulting room. Let's, uh, let's check out what's happening. Now then, what's been happening with your constipation? And Sam said, Well, nothing really. Nothing at all. Them and some, 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 posit some positories you gave me, they ain't done me no good at all. I mean, they're big. They taste horrible. And for all the good they done me out, well, I might as well have stuck them up me bum. ta a bit. See you soon. Take care. Keep out the Ost Road. It's very busy. And do thank your mother for the palings. They went down a treat. Thanks a lot and see you soon. ta a bit. <laughs>